This is a presentation from Intempco, a quality supplier of industrial and hygienic sensors. Today we are going to explain how to calibrate a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop transmitter. We are using the Intempco NML300 current loop powered transmitter for this demonstration. 4 to 20 milliamp current loops are quite common in industrial and sanitary control systems. They are very resistant to ESD and changes in voltage. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be using an Intempco float level sensor. This sensor changes resistance with a change in the float position. Attached to the sensor head is the transmitter that converts that resistance into a 4 to 20 milliamp current signal. The transmitter uses a small amount of current from the loop to function, but since it's less than 4 milliamps, it has no effect on the total measurement. There are four connections from the sensor to the transmitter. There are top, bottom, signal, and shield. The connection locations and wire color are printed on the side of the transmitter. The transmitter is hooked up to a variable power supply with an ammeter in series with the circuit. You'll want to use a precision ammeter for proper calibration. We connect the positive of the supply to the positive input of the transmitter, loop positive. We connect the output of the transmitter, loop negative, to the input of the ammeter. We connect the negative of the ammeter to the negative of the supply in order to complete the circuit. We are starting with the power supply set to 24 volts and the sensor all the way at the bottom. Make sure the float is all the way down. As you can see, the current indicated is not 4 milliamps. The adjustment potentiometers are located on the top of the DIN rail transmitter. Um, they're labeled Z and S. Z, or Z, stands for zero point, and S stands for span. In order to adjust the zero point, we use a small flathead screwdriver and we adjust the trim potentiometer marked Z on the transmitter. And we adjust it until we get 4 milliamps. There we go. If we move the float to the top position, you can see that the current changes almost to 20 milliamps. Yeah. We can adjust the top point by adjusting the trim pot marked S. Observe the change on the ammeter as we make the adjustment. Once this is done, we have to return the float to the zero position and make sure that the indicated current level is correct. Sometimes you'll have to go back and forth a couple of times until both points are correct because affecting, uh, adjusting one does affect the other. So we adjust the zero point again. Okay, and we go back up to the top of the span, make sure it hasn't been affected, 
be 20 milliamps. You adjust the span. Okay, and we'll go down to zero. Four milliamps, close enough. The high point does not necessarily have to be the top position on the stem, and the low point doesn't necessarily have to be the lowest position on the stem. Um, you could also adjust the transmitter so that it indicates a desired position as being either uh, being full span or being zero. Um, we'll choose an arbitrary point and adjust the transmitter so it indicates 20 milliamps at that location. Let's say this is not all the way to the top. I'm going to mark it with a pen, just pointing to that position. And we'll adjust the transmitter so it's showing 20 milliamps at that location. So I'm adjusting the span there, 20 milliamps. Now you have to adjust the zero point after making each span adjustment. So we'll bring it down to zero again. Yeah, 4.01, close enough. It may take a couple of passes until both are at their desired measurements. So now we're just going to go back up to the same position, so you can see that this is 20 milliamps again. 20 milliamps. Now, once this device is calibrated, it will not drift. These float sensors use magnetic reed switch sensors that cannot drift due to their inherent design. The only possibility of drift is within the 4 to 20 milliamp transmitter. And by using quality in Tempco transmitters, we can minimize that and ensure it will stay stable. So these are the basics for calibrating a typical float sensor with a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop transmitter. I hope that this has been helpful.